Blood diamonds, a sparkling facade. Diamonds, they symbolize love, purity, and enduring commitment. We wear them on our fingers, around our necks, and treasure them as heirlooms. But behind their sparkling facade lies a dark and troubling reality, one that is etched in the blood and sweat of countless miners, many of them children, in war-torn countries like Sierra Leone. This is the story of the hidden cost of diamonds, a story that demands our attention and compels us to act. The allure of diamonds is undeniable. Their brilliance and rarity have captivated us for centuries. Yet we often fail to consider the human cost associated with these precious stones. In Sierra Leone, diamonds have fueled conflict, perpetuated poverty, and robbed generations of children of their childhoods. The journey from mine to market is often long and treacherous, marked by exploitation, danger, and despair. It is a journey that takes us deep into the heart of Sierra Leone, where the true cost of diamonds is paid not in dollars or carats, but in shattered dreams and lost innocence. Sierra Leone's Troubled History Diamonds and Conflict Sierra Leone, a small nation on the West African coast, is blessed with abundant natural resources, including diamonds. Discovered in the 1930s, these precious stones held the promise of prosperity for the nation. However, instead of bringing wealth and development, diamonds became a curse, fueling a brutal civil war that ravaged the country for over a decade. The Revolutionary United Front, notorious for its brutality, seized control of the diamond-rich regions in the East. They used the proceeds from the illicit diamond trade to buy weapons, perpetuating a cycle of violence and instability. Civilians were caught in the crossfire, subjected to horrific atrocities, including amputations, forced labor, and displacement. The conflict, fueled by blood diamonds as they came to be known, had a devastating impact on Sierra Leone. The country's infrastructure was destroyed, its economy crippled, and its social fabric torn apart. While the war officially ended in 2002, its legacy continues to cast a long shadow, particularly in the lives of those caught in the web of diamond mining. The Mines of Koidu, a cycle of poverty and child labor. In the heart of Sierra Leone's diamond-producing region lies Koidu, a city whose name has become synonymous with both the allure and the despair of diamonds. Here, amidst the red earth and muddy pits, thousands of miners, many of them children, toil day and night in search of the precious stones that promise a way out of poverty. The reality, however, is far from the glimmering promise. Child labor is rampant in Koidu's mines. Driven by poverty and a lack of alternatives, families send their children to work in dangerous and exploitative conditions. These children, some as young as five years old, are deprived of education, health care, and a proper childhood. The work is arduous and dangerous. Children spend hours digging, sifting, and washing gravel, their small bodies exposed to the elements and the risk of injury. Landslides, pit collapses, and respiratory illnesses are constant threats. The long hours, heavy loads, and harsh conditions take a toll on their physical and mental well-being. The cycle of poverty and child labor is deeply entrenched in Koidu. With limited access to education and economic opportunities, families see diamond mining as their only option for survival. Breaking this cycle requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the root causes of poverty, provides access to quality education, and creates viable economic alternatives for families. Behind the sparkle of diamonds lies a dark reality. The trade is fraught with exploitation, child labor, and environmental destruction. It's a world where the pursuit of wealth often comes at the cost of human dignity and life. Many of these diamonds are mined under dire conditions, with workers facing hazardous environments and meager pay. The profits rarely reach the hands of those who toil in the mines. It's a stark contrast to the glittering image of diamonds we see in stores. The true cost of these precious stones is often hidden from view, leaving a trail of suffering in its wake. But amidst the darkness, there is a glimmer of hope. Education and empowerment are key to breaking the cycle of poverty and exploitation. Organizations like ActionAid are working tirelessly to provide educational opportunities and support to these communities. We believe in the power of education is a powerful weapon in the fight against poverty. By investing in the next generation, we can create lasting change and a brighter future for all.